Okay, today we're going to do an ANSYS project, our Fluent One project. Um, we're going to make three different simulations, and here we go. First thing we do is we get our geometry for our pipe, so we can measure our internal flow. And this will take just a second. And we're going to work off a 2D project on the XY plane. Like this, we go to sketching. We form our rectangular pipe that our fluid will travel through. We're going to make the dimensions. This is our inlet dimension. This is going to be our overall length. Um, we're going to change our units to millimeters here. And... For our overall length, we're going to have 500 millimeters. And our inlet height is going to be 10 millimeters. And we'll zoom in here so we can get a good view of the pipe here. And let's see here. There's our overall pipe right there. And we will now go to concepts, surface from sketches. We're going to box this whole thing in right here, Boom. apply and generate. There's our geometry right there. So now we will go back to here and we will start our meshing. Mm -hmm. This just takes just a second. And there we go. That's going to be gone. And there's this right here. Okay, mesh. We're going to start a method here. And our method apply and generate. Now we will size up our edges here. Go to edge, control, control, and we'll apply element size, number of divisions, 100. And we will generate this. We will size up some more edges here top and bottom edges, apply, element size, number of divisions, we'll call this 500, and generate. Now we will face mesh. Oh, it took a second. Face meshing, here we go. We apply, generate. And now, oops, let's get back on edging here. Now we'll label our inlet. We will label our outlet. We will label our wall. And we're going to label our lower wall. Okay, that's about does it for meshing. Let's go back to here. Let's update. Let's get rid of our meshing wall here. And let's go to setup. We'll double precision and we're going to click start, start fluent. First thing we're going to work on is Poisson flow. Poisson flow is pressure driven, which means both walls will be stationary. We'll go to model. We're going to make our vis viscous model make a laminar material, fluid, air here. We're going to make our density just one kilogram per meters cubed, and we will make our 
viscosity 0 0.0001. I believe it's zero. Yeah. And then close that out. We will make sure our boundary surface is air. We got to make sure. Yes, that is air. Apply, close, and boundary conditions. Inlet, velocity inlet. Yes. We will make our velocity of our magnitude eight meters per second. And we will apply close. We just want to make sure our walls are stationary. Um, let's see here. Lower wall stationary. Yes. Apply close. And our upper wall. We want to make sure that is stationary as well. Stationary. Yes. Okay. And close. Okay. Reference values. Our reference values we will compute from inlet. And these all look just about right. Velocity, yes. Okay, actually we'll go from surface body here. And we will now come down here to run calculate. Number of iterations, 200. And we will initialize and calculate. Here we go. Here's our iterations. The calculation's complete. Okay. We'll come up here. We want to quit the application. Okay. We will go back to here and we will go to results. And results. We'll square this off here. And we now go to contours, velocity one. Okay. Locations. We want symmetry one, variable velocity u, number of contours 50. Okay, we'll apply this, and here we go. Next, we're gonna mess with our legend here. We're gonna go to horizontal, make our appearance, make the size one, make our aspect 0 0.05, make our precision, we'll make it two here, and we'll go to fixed and apply. There we go. Um, let's see here. Oh, okay. Let me move this down here. Whoops. That's gone. Okay. And we'll move this up to here so we can get a good look. Okay. Now we go to insert location. We're going to do our velocity profile. Aim. Um, Insert a line. We're going to insert a line about halfway through. So we're going to call this midline. Okay. And we're going to go 0 0.250. And we'll go 0 0.250 with our inlet at 0 0.01 for 10 millimeters. And we're going to go with 100 samples apply you can see our line come up right there and we're going to do that again for our end our end line okay and this one's going to be at 0 0.500 and 0 0.5 and we'll have 0 0.01 there with a hundred and apply. Okay. Now we are going to go to our chart, make ourselves a chart. Call this velocity profile and hit enter. We're going to be on our XY line. We'll name this chart 
velocity profile. Okay, and our data series at 250 millimeters. We're gonna check the velocity of our fluid and we'll check that at the midline. And then at 500 millimeters, millimeters, we will check at the end line, our X axis, we are going to measuring for velocity U, our Y axis, strictly for the Y. Okay, I wanna make sure that that fly and bingo, there you go. Here's our profile. You can see our red line halfway through. It's not quite fully formed. The blue profile is at the end of our pipe and it's fully formed. There you have it. There's 3D viewer. That's Poisel flow right there. Okay, so now let's go back and we're going to try fluid flow. So let's go back to solutions here. And here we go. We want to make sure our model is viscous viscosity is laminar, our materials, fluid, air. This time we are going to make our viscosity point zero zero one. Okay, change create flows. Um we're gonna check our boundary conditions. Our inlet will now be switched to pressure inlet. Our pressures will be at zero. This, our flow will be created by our moving upper wall. Close. Okay, now we'll check our upper wall here. Edit. And we are have a moving wall. This wall will be moving at eight meters per second, apply, close, there we go. Okay, reference values, compute from inlet, right there. Here's all of our values, our viscosities, one to the negative third, one times 10 to the negative third. Okay, and surface body, come down here. Let's initialize and calculate. There we go. There's our iterations. Calculations complete. All right. Oops. Get out of this right here. Okay. And back to results. Okay. And there's all my other stuff. Whoops. Did I do something wrong? I think that I did. Oh, I need to go over here to okay, velocity two. Two. There's our coolant flow right there. Boom. Okay. Inlet locations. Symmetry one. Our variable will be velocity u. Contours will be 50 right here. Apply. And there's a more better view of our. Cool flow. Okay, now uh, we'll come over here to chart. Uh, we'll call it chart one. Okay, data series 250 millimeters. And we will have that be our midline. And we'll create a new one for. 500 millimeters, and this will be our end line. 
And these will be our velocity profiles at 250 millimeters and 500 millimeters. Our x-axis is going to be our velocity u. Our y-axis will be our height. So we'll measure y and apply. And there's our linear profile right there. Um, pretty close. It's not exact, but it's pretty close. Okay, and there is our velocity contour. Okay, so let's let's go back to the screen, and now we're going to do a combination of Poisson and coit flow. Right. All right, so there are models. We want to make sure our viscosity is still laminar. Um, our materials are fluid, our air. Our air is we're going to lower our dense or viscosity 0 0.0001 again. Okay. Change, create, close. Okay, now our boundary conditions. Our inlet is going back to velocity inlet. And we will make our velocity magnitude eight meters per second. Apply that. Close our upper wall. Let's see, let's edit this. We want to make sure, yes, we are moving the upper wall eight meters per second. Apply, close. And we will now come down here for our reference values right here from inlet. And here we go, velocity eight meters per second. There's our viscosity, heat, our density is at one. Okay, we're good here. And I wanna make sure we're still doing 200 iterations. We are, initialize, calculate. And there is our iterations and our profile being run. Okay, calculation complete. Okay, now we will go back and we will check our results here. And there you go. There's our, our velocity contour for Poisson and coit flow combination of the two. We want to go to velocity three here. Um, and that's going to be symmetry one. Our variable will be velocity u. Change contours 50 and apply. Okay, and now we will come over here to chart. And there's our chart right there. Oh, that's chart two is fine. We'll change the title to velocity profile. Profile, I don't think I did this for quick flow, but okay, 250 millimeter line. 250 millimeter line right here. That'll be our midline. Um, and then we'll create a new one. This will be 500, 500 millimeters. And this will be the end line, our x-axis, the velocity u, our y-axis. We're measuring y and apply. And there's our coat flow right there. Nice. Nice gentle transition from the bottom to the top plate. That's about it. There's our contour right there. There's our chart viewer. And that's about all she wrote. That is the Fluent One Project One uh, in ANSYS. Thank you.